every single Brazilian city, every single Brazilian city has houses like this. This is Brazil's Beverly Hills. Hello folks, how are you doing? Welcome to the vlog. My name is Sean, a YouTuber from Edinburgh in Scotland and today we are going to the beach yet again here in Brazil. Every day is another beach day. Beaches are all within a mile of our house, so why wouldn't we? Anyway, I wanted to come to Ilha do Frage today, a really, really cool place with lots of awesome beaches. Like three or four beaches all within the same space. There's like a causeway, like a narrow road that goes onto the island. And once you're at the kind of entrance of the island, there's security. It's a very secure, kind of safe place. And once you're on the island, there is nothing but mansions as far as you can see. Like proper mansions. Mansions that we don't necessarily see everywhere else with pools and gyms and football. They've even got their own football pitches and tennis courts. That's the type of level we're talking here. Really awesome houses. I would wish I could afford one. Anyway, we're going onto the island, going to see if we can get into the beach, but there might be a lot of people. The beaches are not big here. And if there's too many people, we'll probably have to give it a, a miss. So we're now on Ilha do Frage, which is Frage Island. Frage, I don't know what Frage means, but anyway, this is like Beverly Hills. It's only mansions here. There are like three or four little beaches on it. All of them pretty cool in little secluded places, but um, the houses on this island are enormous. It's very, very, very exclusive here and you would need a lot of money to buy a house. I'm gonna show you some of the houses on this island actually. They are unbelievable. They're everywhere as well. There must be what? 50 houses on this island and they're all mansions, super mansions. Look at this one behind me here. Like the White House. I love coming here because the beaches are incredible. It's pretty safe. Obviously because the whole island has its own private security, but I can I can totally see why people like to live here. They've got views of the ocean all the way around. It's a very, very small island, like probably a kilometer long, something like that. But yeah, this is Brazil's Beverly Hills. Every single Brazilian city, every single Brazilian city has houses like this or neighborhoods like this. There are a lot of rich people here in Brazil. Obviously a lot of poor people, much more people who are impoverished, but there are a lot of extremely rich people here in Brazil, in every single city. Here we are, Frage Island. What does Frage mean? Like a priest, I think. The island of the priests. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get my pasty white skin into the sun and onto the beach. All right, we're parked up here, but look all the way around. There is an awesome house right there. That one there. That was Ilha do Frage. The beaches are incredibly busy and full today. It's still New Year's holidays at the moment, January holidays that they have here in Brazil. So unfortunately, we didn't get much time on the beach. We couldn't get anywhere near the water. There were so many people there, but it's a cool place nonetheless. And we always try and come here if we've got a few spare hours or minutes or whatever. One thing I wonder, like, as we're coming away from Ilha do Frage is, who are the people that live there? Like, what does it take in Brazil to have that type of wealth? 
are these people lawyers, doctors, are they judges? But even then, like, I just can't imagine that those are the types of people that would have a house that's that worth that much because these houses are literally millions. Remember, most people in Brazil do not have that type of reality in Brazil. That is like super, super rich. There are a lot of people here in Brazil who live not necessarily in poverty anymore. And the difference between those people and those who live in those houses in Ilha de Frage is vast. Like, really, really, really vast. Anyway, I just find it interesting, like, what type of people live in houses like that here in Brazil. Like, what are they? Business owners? I don't know. Although there's one group of people that I haven't mentioned which could definitely feature in that list of people who could afford a house like that in Brazil, and that's politicians. Politicians in Brazil are pretty damn wealthy. Or anybody who works with politicians who are is any way connected to the political sphere in Brazil have a lot of money. By the way, there are a lot of politicians in Brazil. Senators, deputies, like loads of different politicians within every single city. So potentially they're all politicians who live in the island? I don't know. 